the album release. It's called Se Bueno. It's an atmospheric drum and bass release. And actually, it has very promising genres jungle, shoegaze, stream pop, rock, electronica, shoegaze. I didn't think it was as much shoegaze as I thought it would be at the end. It's not really. So, you might be asking, or okay, you might not be asking. How you run out of words to describe the albums you listen to? Well, yes, I have. <laughs> I think we won't match for this album. Spoiler, it's pretty good. It's a very, very, very good album. I was trying to find ways to sound more professional because right now what I want to do is sound professional, sound to the point and to describe things the most consistent way possible. So, the first track, it already shows those period influences of this album creating a sudden mix of pencil, SMR, ambient and um, the bird song genre. Okay, that sounds like I'm just throwing words around. I think it works best if I describe what it makes me feel. So, the first track has these guitars with an uplifting uplifting edge to them. We have the drum and bass, you know, the, the drum and bass. This genre is really curious because to me it always feels as if the drums, the drum machine thingy kind of thingy was doing like parkour. That's stupid, stupid, stupid! Note to self, please erase this section at the end of the video. And you know the guitar focuses a lot in doing atmosphere. It's kind of this characteristic post rock reverb, eco pedal, beautiful dreamy scenes. Well, it feels like going around a fairy forest of the future, probably, sliding through the panorama. This is what the record is going to be about, about painting this beautiful world and let you travel through it. The third track already has some samples, you know, jungle rapid beats, but the song always stays emotional with that winter, delicate atmosphere, glitchy moments in the trauma scene section. The thing is that this record is very accessible even for people that aren't really into the genre, I can include myself, because it always has that emotional atmosphere, it's really soothing and really enjoyable. The songs paint these beautiful landscapes and what grabs me the most is that while the rhythm section always has momentum, the melodic sections and the other scenes and other instruments that compose the atmosphere always have that emotional delivery to them. You see, I'm using my hands, so it sounds more professional. The fourth track features this acoustic guitar at the beginning with a dreamy atmosphere that hooks you completely. There is no glitchy fast beats, just the emotional down tempo, almost down tempo post rock song with a digitalized voice and it's almost surreal, it's nocturnal. There is this fantasy, fantastic fairy tale atmosphere and it's a, and it's a very chill track, you know, it's emotional and it has, it's a, you know, it's a very chill track, it has that sorrow and sadness into it. What makes it even more special is the world that it paints it around you. Okay, so, so the fifth track, it's, yeah, the fifth track is a really shoegaze. You, we can call it shoegaze. You know, it has that guitar, and reverb, and pedals to make the atmosphere never being fully underwhelming, like noise rock. It's just engulfing you in this beautiful place. And there's a detail in the vocals around the two minutes and 45 seconds when they whisper the vocals at the front and the and you have a, a lower volume, more emotional vocals that kind of reflect how you feel inside. I always like that combination, that musical trope in music. And the thing is that the fifth track always goes to several places between a full breaker section and the lifting piano piece. Everything clashes together at once and at the end everything clashes at once in a moment of epiphany and it's beautiful. It might be the most overwhelming or confusing of the tracks to listen at the first time but it will also be one of the most rewarding at the end after you listen to it repeatedly. You see this? You see this is kind of weird. I see my hands and I can recognize they are my hands and 
this face is kind of, I don't know, it feels like a stranger face, like, it's just, it's just an like stranger face, I still don't know who the hell this is, it's, it's, it's weird, it's very weird. Yeah, that's better. So the sixth track goes a uh, completely opposite of the fifth track. It's a chum and bass track all the way with those dreamy fantasy scenes. So if the fifth track has a lot of sections and segments individual to their own, they're from this beautiful, sweet journey. The sixth track is a full section where the momentum does not really stop. It does not change the mood of the track. It keeps going with the atmosphere that you do not wish to end. And around the end, the atmosphere gets a lot bigger, overwhelming. Like the scenes were like a cloud and there are these lights in the sky going around us as fast as possible. It is beautiful. So many lights, so many emotions. The only thing I wished about the track is that it lasted longer. I wish like it lasted like for an hour or something like <laughs> a full loop. It's just that it's the kind of track that I don't want it to let me go. Okay? I need it. <laughs> anyway. The seventh track does something similar in a similar vein. And it's a bit more uplifting. I mean, at least the keepers that play on the song are. And you have these scenes doing this heavenly atmosphere. The atmospheric to bass, keeping the rhythm, exploring around. It's like you're exploring around the panorama and stuff. And you have the ambient section. It's very dreamy and soothing, chilling, calming. The difference with the sixth track is that the seventh track is more atmosphere than mood. So it's not emotionally as charged as the sixth track. If you have a panoramic picture in of a landscape, in, in a sound, you it will be like... Something like that, I guess. And it's like a nice little mint, nice, nice refreshing uh, break after the emotional climax that was the sixth and fifth track. Why don't you stay still? Why don't you stay still? I want you to stay still. Okay, I have an idea like this. So, a lot of people say that this has a lot of post-rock influence and yeah, it seems emotionally speaking and stru structurally speaking, it has that post-rock vibe to it. I mean, I mean, I still don't know what the hell post-rock is, but wait, I can check. Post-rock is like a complete mess of a genre around. You can even describe it, you have like slint and talk talk and Godspeed you and Mawai, and it's just like all so different, but they are supposed to be the same genre. Like, what the hell? Emphasis on timbre, texture, and atmosphere of our traditional conventions, while well, often embrace influences from genres not usually associated with rock. That is actually a, a very good description, like, it's focused on atmosphere but it's not really ambient it's like just you just play and play and play but create an atmosphere instead of you know making a normal song i guess that's what ties all those albums together okay maybe it wasn't really that hard to describe post rock but anyway it's not the point for today so <sighs> So yeah, a lot of people seem to think that this album has a lot of post-rock influence and I think that in the 8th track is where you see it best because it features this guitar playing an emotional riff because yeah, you have these trance-inducing guitars, the quiet keyboards creating the atmosphere and the saxophone singing to you. Slowly but surely they evolve into a crescendo and the track explodes completely with the guitar it showing through the whole track in a dramatic climax full of sadness, hope and beauty. And at the end, it comes back to the beginning in a whisper with a smile and a nostalgic feeling inside. The final track is a full ambient track. There are some keyboards dancing through the cosmos. There is no drum beats, there are no drum and bass, no rhythm, only the atmosphere and the keyboards singing to you, telling you a story, looking at the stars, 
from that fairy land, that beautiful world you want to live in, being happy. It's a beautiful ending. It's not just an ambient track that you listen passively, but it's also a track that has a lot of emotional charge into it. Overall oh. thoughts. What do I think of this record? Actually, this record is kind of similar to the first one I reviewed, Jailfire, because they are records that combine electronic music with post-rock, Indytronica and all that kind of genres with post-rock and add an emotional delivery to it. The thing is that Jailfire is more post-rock with electronic instruments and winter and space well, on the other hand, Se Bueno is, instead of being more post-rock, it's more German bass. And instead of being winter and space, it's more fairy land and night nocturnal feelings. So they are very different in their own ways. But what I'm saying is that if you like one record, you might like the other because, because there are several elements that share between each other. See? We don't compare oranges to apples in this channel. Just want to show you what other music you might like. There is also the fact that there is 20 years between them in recording. But yeah, if you like another, check the other. Who will I recommend this to in general? And who will I not recommend this to in general? Well, it's not sappy. I don't think it's sappy, but it's very emotional. This record wants to give you a very emotional, special moment with you. So if you aren't really into that kind of very emotional melodramatic music you might not like it if you are looking for some unique atmospheric drum and bass record you have to keep in mind that the this record really wants to pull you out with the moment that shares with you so if you're really in that kind of the mood for an emotional very deep sad sorrowful fantasy experience you will probably not like the record. Now, who will I recommend it to? To be fair, I don't see too many people disliking this record. If you are looking for some interesting past rock, you will find it here. Maybe not guitar-focused and, you know, big crescendo-ish, but, but there is this beautiful atmosphere. Everything focuses on the mood instead of the song. And if you're looking for some accessible drum and bass, electronic jungle music, you will find it here because it just not focuses on the rhythm. It also has a lot of heart and atmosphere into it. It's a very beautiful futuristic fairy tale world kind of thing that puts you into a beautiful trip, a beautiful adventure. So yeah, if you like post rock, dream pop, uh, in shoegaze, it doesn't have as much shoegaze as I will think, but if you like it, if you like that those kind of genres, you can check it out. If you are looking to get into atmospheric drum and bass, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. This record is friendly. It's very friendly. Everyone is very clear. You have the space ambient influences, the other influences. I was having issues trying to describe this record in a rating that will make it justice. But I think that for this record, this album, this long play thingy, the best rating could be in Toloma Hosh de Steri. It's, 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 it's a fungus, it's a mushroom, it's, look, 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 it's kind of nice, kind of cute, kind of, very magical, kind of cute thingy, very, very, very nice, very, it's kind of, kind of, it's, you see, it's kind of scary, kind of, oh, a mushroom, but it's also beautiful, because it's just a long, beautiful, beautiful mushroom, it's kind of, in Toloma, in Toloma, in to, to, oh, it's called blue, pink, Blue, blue, pink, blue, 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 yep, blue, pink, blue, 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 kind of makes sense, kind of makes sense, maybe, blue, pink, blue, just kind of, you put it in your head, you put it in your head, you just, yeah, it's, it's blue, pink, it's just blue, pink, it's blue, pink, 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 that thing. Okay, is, 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 is that clear? It's that clear by now? I say the rating and um, that is very good. Fantasy, nocturnal, futuristic, emotional, epiphany, 
epiphany, sadness, momentum, sliding forest. <laughs> Uh, words like that. Now we are in the part, in the uh, very awkward, very necessary part where I still haven't found out how to end my videos. The thing is that I need a catchphrase and I haven't found one. So um, I guess I will... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, let me do it like this, like this. So. I'll see you on the next one. They cannot see me. They cannot see me. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> so, I'll take you later. No, it's kind of too bland. You know what? I'm just gonna leave. So, I hope that you have a very nice week. And... <laughs> Goodbye. I guess. I guess. See ya. See ya. It's kind of nice to talk to you today. It was very nice.